What are the pros and cons of entrepreneurship? I'm gonna say everything. And unfortunately, we're not taught to be entrepreneurs, we're taught to be employees. So get a pen and paper if you wanna switch this up. And I'm gonna say, you have to. So number one, how do you turn an idea into a, what I call cash machine, into a business? How do you make some money with your ideas? Number two, how do you master the financial aspects so you have the most result? See, a lot of you, you start as sole proprietors and that's completely wrong. So stay tuned for that answer. And number three, you really wanna understand, really understand the challenges and the opportunities. So let's begin. Number one, how do you actually take your idea and move it into an opportunity? How do you monetize quickly? So I created what I call the art of a pre-sale. How do you turn your idea into an opportunity? Well, what is it that you actually want to do? Is it a product? Is it a service to be an entrepreneur? Now, even if you're an employee, I want do not, do not click away from this video because I want to help you understand why being an entrepreneur, even if it's a side hustle, a hustle, is the only way you're gonna pay less taxes. So for you employees, stay tuned, we have that coming. But how do you just start monetizing? See, I believe any of you, even your children, are capable of making money like this. It is that quick. You all have skills, you have talent, you have this amazing thing that has created some level of expertise. Now, I was just blessed with a lot of expertise in money and business and finance, hence the Millionaire Maker brand. So I love teaching it and I know how to monetize it. It's a huge space, it's actually a really crowded space. Some of you are in the wellness you know, space or wellness and healing, enormously crowded space. So what I want you to think about with your expertise, what's the product or service? Now, in the beginning, service is always going to be faster because you can just sell time. And you say, well, you know, I don't want to trade my time for money. Well, you're already doing that as an employee. So let's leave that over there. So you say, well, I can't do that also as an entrepreneur. In the beginning, you've got to figure out what do people want from you? So if you look back and you say, what are the problems of the world that I could solve given what I know or a team that I could assemble? See, as you become more mature as an entrepreneur, you're going to start saying yes to more opportunities, knowing how to assemble a team of experts so you do less they do more, you lead. There's the ultimate key to success as an entrepreneur is lead more, do less. And a lot of you, you are doers because you're trained to be an employee. You're do, do, doing, 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 and you're the one with your head down with, while opportunities are like walking around you every day. So for whatever product or service idea you have, I want you immediately going to social media. Now, a lot of you, you're on social media just because you love your friends and family out there. So I only use social media for business, period. So so I want you to do some surveys, ask some people, do a post, say, hey, I'm an expert in wellness. I'm an expert in videography. I'm an expert in chat GPT. I'm an expert in engineering. I'm an expert in whatever you're an expert in. Then you'd ask some questions like you could do a survey, you could do a poll. If I was going to come live and actually become an entrepreneur and start solving your problems, what are the top problems you have? So find out what the market's problem is. Instead of you sitting back, which most entrepreneurs, because again, you're contaminated with only employee training, you're th you sit back quietly by yourself and say, Hmm, what do I want to produce? I don't really care what you want to produce. What do they want you to produce? What problem do they want you to solve? And then you create a product or service around solving someone else's problem. That's where you're going to make money. So a lot of you, like it's shocking to me how many of you write books just because you need to write about something. Did anybody ask you to write it? Did anybody prepay for it? So I, again, I master the art of a pre-sale. I want you out doing a focus group, asking surveys, asking questions. What do people want? What problem can you solve? And then give them an offer. Give them an offer, $10, $20, $100, $10,000. I don't care what the price is. If they take it, you know that you are now finding your niche. You're finding your way to what you're going to be an expert in, what you're going to do to solve other people's problems. And you got to do it with a price tag. Yes, it's a capitalist move, but guess what? Problems that are being solved, you deserve the money for it. Otherwise, you're just a charity. And believe me, if you think going nonprofit is a way to start, you're completely wrong. Starting with a nonprofit when you don't even know how to be profitable is a formula for failure, 100%. So the first thing I want you to do is get on social media and start asking some questions about what problems you can solve. Number two, how do you actually get a better financial result? you got to be incorporated. So two things when anybody becomes an entrepreneur that is the engine to start. It's the same thing I do, so I'm not telling you to do anything I don't do. Number one, I won't do business as an individual, nor should you. No sole proprietor land that doesn't even exist, that's suffering, it's not safe. It puts you in a huge line of liability doing business with the public. Somebody sues you, now they can take your house, your stock, your money. Like, 
you want to protect yourself no matter what, especially when you're in litigation and liable sorts of industries, like teaching money and being an educator of money. People will say always, oh, you gave me advice. No, I don't. I can't give you advice. I'm not licensed to give advice. I'm an educator. So just little lessons to what you need to do. But getting incorporated is critical. So I get incorporated. Again, I have a strategy session with our team. Number two, I get a database. We call it rapid marketing system. So go to askrms.com for $297 a month. We're going to get a landing page. You're going to begin immediately. You can't monetize followers. You can monetize a database. I'm going to print t-shirts that say this. You cannot monetize followers as well. You can do some, but to really control your revenue that you know you're going to make money, you need a database and track your data and know where your sales are coming from. So any company I start, I get incorporated, I get RMS and I get up and running. So in the description below, I have both links to have an appointment to talk about both and get them done and get them set. So if without being incorporated, number one, again, you have liability problems, but more importantly, you don't activate the tax code. You can't write off research and development. You can't write off your equipment. You can't write off any home office space, your vehicle, your phone, wardrobe, you name it. There are 81,000 pages of tax code. So if you're going to be an entrepreneur, be one. Now, I came up with this term called living corporate life. See, we're all trained to be employees. This worldwide problem. And most of you think that if you need to make more money, you get another job and you get another employment job. The problem is that is the highest taxed income, the worst kind to make. So the only way you actually get to reduce your taxes if you're an employee is also have a business on the side. And then eventually those of you who are good entrepreneurs and the pros of being it, you can quit. In fact, I want you to search up at the search bar. I have videos on how to quit your job in less than 90 days and it works consistently has worked for thousands of people when you do it right. So I want to give you two tickets to my millionaire intensive because that's a great way to start your company and get you out here and start making some money. It doesn't take months and months and months to start being an entrepreneur. It's a decision today. I'm an entrepreneur. If you really become a good one, the pro is you'll be unemployable. I couldn't even imagine being employed. Somebody asked me a while back, I don't remember which project it was, if I had a resume. I'm like, a resume? I have a bio. Like notice like employees have resumes, entrepreneurs have bios. So you're going to spin all of that. It's interesting how some of you are so employee centric. And if you're a great employee, which we need employees, then be one. But if you want to activate a lower tax basis, you have to have some sort of a side hustle or hustle. Now, before I continue on, I want you again, subscribe to this channel. Like this is really, really important. You have the sum of those five people. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you want to pay less taxes, you're going to have to have that environment around you, the people around you, knowing that this is a goal. Studying money and learning into the desire to be a millionaire isn't something you do privately. You scream that from the rooftops and then you get a lot of people around you supporting your goal, not your negative naysayers like, oh, you can't do that. Why are you listening to Laurel's channel every day? Oh my gosh. Like, are you really think you're going to get smarter with business and money? Yes. You are, if you commit to it. So five days a week, I want you here. Hit the subscription uh, button, click that notification so every day you're here. Share it with five or 10 people. Get a new tribe around you or come closer to us, become a client and join our community. We've had the longest standing community in money, business, wealth building and generational wealth than any other organization in the world. So click on the link below, go take our financial personality quiz, see which profile you are, and then that'll take you into a gap analysis and then into a one-on-one -on -one conversation about how do you be an entrepreneur? Or call in. Let's talk about it. Now let's talk about the cons a little bit. So the cons is it's a challenge to make your first hundred thousand dollars. It is the hardest money you're ever going to make. Become a millionaire is actually easy. Making your first hundred thousand is the hardest. Why? Because you're going from an employee training. Like my son just got two bachelor's degrees, finance and accounting and a master's in accounting. And to this day, we'll still say, mom, I didn't learn what you teach in your books, right? I was taught to be an employee, right? An accounting or finance employee, not an entrepreneur. So to be an entrepreneur, you've got to have a whole different skill set. The top three skills you have to learn is marketing, sales, and cash flow. So again, I want you to come to my millionaire intensive. It's an eight hour training that actually starts your entrepreneurial journey. You couldn't be at a better place. We're talking about getting you incorporated and that database, you're going to get it all done in one day. Easy peasy. So to be an entrepreneur is a little bit of a challenge. You have to learn marketing, sales, you got to learn cash flow. You've got to learn how to fulfill. So you don't want to be a roller coaster entrepreneur where you sell, 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 fulfill, 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 sell, 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 fulfill, fulfill, fulfill. So what does that mean? You got roller coaster cash flow. You want to start learning to pre-sell 
I call it the art of a pre-sale. You're going to learn that at the Millionaire Intensive. I want you to learn to contract cash, which is another cool concept that I came up with to help sustain cash flow on more of a membership subscription and a retention level. So there's all sorts of strategies that can break you through, but the biggest one is you. So many of you, you're used to getting your money through a paycheck. You're not used to selling and you hate the word selling. So I teach you a process called selling to serve. So uh, yes, am I selling? I sell all day long but I'm also serving you with some of the greatest content in business and finance in the world. Again, five days a week, I want you out here watching this. Talk to your kids, bring this money and business conversation into the household. Since the pandemic, schooling has changed drastically. There's a lot of kids, they don't wanna to go to school. They wanna be an entrepreneur. So take the money that you would have put towards their schooling and make them an entrepreneur. Do something with your kids. At 18 years old, they can all begin. The last thing I would say about being an entrepreneur as you become unemployable, especially to you women out there, it is lonely at the top, meaning your patience is going to grow thin on people who are lazy, who don't want to do anything. It's fascinating to me in our world when you say you want to make money and you do nothing that looks like it. I know the exact behaviors you need to do to produce revenue, not be busy, not just like walking around to actually have connect the dots from your action to your checkbook. Join our community. I'll teach you how to do it. Every move you make should have an orientation to serving someone's life and you having a successful business. We'll talk to you tomorrow.